Hi everyone. I'm Chi from Colorado School of Mines Computer Science Department. It's my great honor to present our recent research work, Solar Detector Automatic Solar PV Array Identification Using Big Satellite Imagery Data. This work was published in LTDI 23. There are so many LT deployments in the real world. Actually, one of the largest LT deployments is Smart Grid. From this figure, we can see there are some new things like EV cars, wind power, solar power, hydropower. They are changing the Smart Grids and the Smart Grids are having pressure to manage them. Especially with the emerging trend of distributed solar energy resources, DICR, this graph shows the solar PV price and the solar capacity. We can observe that in these 12 years, the cost of the solar system has decreased by three times. At the same time, the solar capacity has increased by 20 times. And 70% of them are small scale PV arrays from residential rooftops. There are many implications for this rising solar penetration. There are many parties involved in the DSER and they are having challenges on managing DSER. For example, the utilities, they need to generate the monthly electricity bill, but with the emerging DSER, they decrease the accuracy of net load predictions. And the third parties, to maintain and promote the user services. So they need to detect false anomaly, anomaly in real-time solar generation. For the government agencies, they need to make decisions about new solar installation permit. So they need more up-to-date solar capacity in a reason. The fundamental question here will be how to detect and profile the increasingly deployed DSER accurately and efficiently. There are many prior approaches. They typically train machine learning or deep learning models using big satellite imagery data. We benchmark all the models and we found out the machine learning, they typically report high true positive, which means they have a good performance to detect solar PV arrays. And we also found out that deep learning, they typically report high true negative, which means they have the good performance to detect non-solar array objects. The problem of these approaches is that they require a significant amount of training data and they require very high resolution images. The cost is high. Our insight is the existing models, they are extracting features on very high resolution satellite images. These features cannot work well on low resolution satellite images. And also the prior work are trained on the unbalanced data set, some even only positive samples. So for the split or holdout detection, they have very low accuracy. To address these problems, we design our solar detector. This is the pipeline of, of our system. In a given geospatial region, we first do the rooftop segmentation to remove the background. As, as we can see here, there are some roads, cars, or trees. And then we can focus on the rooftops. And then we build large balanced training data. We use some data augmentation techniques, and we also use DC guns to generate more images. And then we design our solar array detection model to detect solar arrays. After we got solar arrays, we can further profile the information of solar arrays or other, other objects on the rooftops. We benchmark our solar detector. We compare six methods, and we found out our solar detector is the best performing solar PV detection approach. We open source our data site and code at this GitHub page. And thank you so much for your interest.